car as a third video, you know what we're doing. <laughs> Alright, start with carb. So the carb when it comes to the engine, the mount kind of uh, holds it about there and that's normally fine if it's on the motorbike. That's no good to us because we've got like a plastic cow and we've only got about two and a half inches above the engine. So, we need to do away with this, make a new one and then kind of sit it down here. So it's kind of like come straight off and straight into it. So I've been to the scrap yard and I found this look, these little tight little bends. So we're going to cannibalise them and make our own little carb in there. I've got my special saw. <laughs> Okay, next thing the electrics, so we've got to get all this mangled into it somewhere in a neat fashion that doesn't corrupt anything else. Right, that's got the uh, heart of the electric saw, so we've got most of it all wound down here, all tightly packaged. Uh, I've stuck the battery at the front and I've separated the starter circuit because we can do that ourselves up here. And also I've put like a bit of pipe along the bottom to thread the cables through and the fuel hose goes in there as well. Because I've noticed these things are quite low ground clearance. If you go over like bumps and stuff, it tends to, to whack the bottom of the frame. So if you put that in there, it kind of protects them. Stops you ripping the fuel hose off and then snagging all the cables. Like you do let's put the handlebars on. Clutch accelerator. Now while we've got the handlebars on, you can finish the electrics up to the control. So I've used the key for the old mobility scooter as the engine kill, and then I've kind of hacked into the, uh, the old horn button and turned that into our electric start. <laughs> hey -hey! Now the throttle and clutch cable we have to do in like two halves and then join them together in the middle. So get the uh, throttle cable that come with the twist grip assembly and put that into the carburetor, then kind of like bend that, fold it down there. It's not a bad idea to put the exhaust pipe on so you can see where that is, so you don't end up rooting cables through where that's going to be, and then hence I'm getting too close and melting. Now, same with the clutch. Put the clutch one onto the engine. Stick the cables and the twist grip and the clutch lever, and then kind of weave them through the frame a little bit. So, we've got two cables from the engine and two cables from the controls, and then we need to make them join together. In the middle here, we're going to do that by drilling holes in these little brackets here and then putting some little adjusters in and then clamping them together. So to join the two cable ends together, just use uh, cable connectors. Right! Gears next. Bit tricky, but amazing. First thing, take the gear lever that comes with the engine, chop it down to about two inches, drill an eight mil hole in the end of it, and then whack that on the engine. Now, gear shifters are all gonna go on the floor here. There's a tiny bit of chassis bar which I've left out, but we can attach that now, and then we know where all the cables and stuff are going on. So for the gear linkage, I'm using these little rose bearings which I've put on the end of a bit of a rod. If you get uh, female ones, you can just use a bit of threaded bar, but I haven't got any of them, so I've got this. So put that on under it. So I've got a rod coming from the engine, so we need something to connect it to. So I've uh, got these blocks of aluminium, drilled holes in them, and we'll mount that up underneath the floor, and then our rod will connect to this, and then that will be like a, a start of our little lever system. And then coming off it, we're gonna have like two levers coming off front and back, which will have posts sticking up. Which... So we've got the old cross link in, and we just need to put two little arms coming off it for these to sit on. <laughs> There we go, there's our little gear rocker. All right, let's put it back on. So we've got our rocker system, which is rocking. Now, if we get some more rose bearings, put a bit of threaded bar in the end, and then a, I know I've made a little uh, cap for it, but you could do it out of a nut and a washer. And we'll stick them on our arms, so they stick up like that, and they'll come through the floor. Now, to stop them flopping around, we need to put a little bit of plate around there, drill some holes in it, and they'll be fixed in, and then that'll be our so gears! Now rather than putting a threaded bar through it, if you put a bit of pipe over it, it'll get a bit smoother when it goes up and down. Okay, next video, just the exhaust, a bit of frame left, 
and we take it for a spin. Wow!